हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी अकॉर्डिंग टू योर सिलेबस फॉर सेकेंड सेमेस्टर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी कैलकुलेशन ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक क्वांटिटीज ऑफ आइडियल मोनोमेटमिक गैस सो फ्रॉम लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट वी आर डीलिंग विद द पार्टीशन फंक्शन सो इन दिस लेक्चर ऑल्सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग सी हाउ यूजिंग द पार्टीशन फंक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द थर्मोडाइनेमिक क्वांटिटीज फॉर एन आइडियल मोनोमेटमिक गैस so now uh, consider a gas consisting of n identical monoatomic molecules of mass m enclosed in a container of volume v so we have a gas uh, and we have n identical molecules and the volume is v now we are going to write its energy in terms of what in terms of kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy you know it is p square by 2m and potential energy is a function of the coordinates so uh, then okay and then this potential energy is also uh, described as between the and uh, potential energy due to interaction of molecules okay and we have like uh, n molecules now uh, we also uh, next step is that we are treating the gas as an ideal gas the ideal gas means what uh, the property is that the molecules do not interact much with each other and uh, now from the last lecture you know how to write the classical partition function classical partition function is nothing but you are considering an energy is a function of um, uh, position and the momentas so uh, you have uh, from the last lecture you know the formula for writing the partition function uh, for an ideal Uh, gas which is treated classically so this is the formula so you write the energy we know that partition function is given by e raised to minus beta er er is the energy and energy we have written over here so just uh, splitting it into the coordinates uh, 1 by 2m p square p square by 2m so for n particles this is the formula plus u r1 till rn for n particles and uh, multiplied by this is uh, to get the Uh, number of cells in the phase space uh, which we already discussed um, in the last class and if you have doubts about this uh, this formula how to get the volume of the phase space please go back to the lecture on density of states there i have um, uh, explained how to uh, take the phase space to find the volume etc is uh, described in the density of states lecture and uh, yeah so you have the partition function now i uh, just uh, separate out the like terms so uh, for momenta dp and for um, the potential energy or or the coordinate values so you separately you can write uh, for um, the value for uh, integral uh, for the momentas and uh, for the potential Mm, energy so this is for the uh, kinetic energy and uh, these integrals are for the mm, uh, for the potential energy okay because it is a exponential term we can write it into products like this the sum terms so mm, then considering the fact that gas is ideal then uh, potential energy is equal to 0 so when u is 0 e raised to minus beta into u becomes 1 then this this part of the integral it will become just this much and then uh, when you multiply all these you will get volume raised to n so one integral it will be giving one volume so this uh, n times will give you volume raised to n so now if i write this total one as uh, so we already saw that potential energy terms will you will give volume raised to n and here this term is uh, common common term is the same it does not change so this i can write it in general form as uh, yeah so if i write uh, this partition function as um, this tau raised to n then ln z dash is equal to n ln this tau so tau is nothing but this uh, i am going to write in a general form that is from minus infinity to plus infinity meaning the volume uh, of the uh, system that we are considering e raised to minus beta by 2m um p square there is p square by 2m uh, d cube um, p that is this term this term into uh, multiplied by the potential energy term potential energy term we already saw that it is raised to it is v v by um, h not cube this is for just one so this whole raised to n is for the whole gas that is when we have v raised to n so this is this term 
this term is equal to this so this whole raised to n you get the total partition function hmm. okay so now uh, this is the partition function for a single molecule which one this this term is for a single molecule okay now now we are just going to evaluate this integral uh, that is the potential energy i mean sorry kinetic energy term so uh, this p we are going to write it in terms of px py and pz so that is why three integrals uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, so just integrating it uh, for three uh, x y z uh, coordinates uh, what we get three three different integrals we get so now this one can be simplified into this formula if you want to really learn how to derive this formula in mean this answer if you integrate this you will get this you have to refer to the appendix of reef uh, 4.2 the appendix 4.2 in reef if you refer you can understand how to uh, get this uh, how to evaluate this integral and uh, get this one okay otherwise you can just memorize this and um, so then uh, that term you will get it as uh, just substituting this value in this term you will get this so then our par final partition function what will you get uh, ln z dash is equal to uh, just take ln of this so you will get a term like this just 3 by 2 you are bringing here because minus beta so minus 3 by 2 ln beta beta i am taking separately and remaining plus 3 by 2 uh, ln 2 m pi by h naught square okay so this is actually h naught cube so to bring it inside the bracket i made it square and whole raised to 3 by 2 so when i shorten it then it will become h naught cube again so that is how this is done it's a very simple uh, adjustment now uh, like i said before we are going to calculate the thermodynamic quantities why we already now found our partition function so this is our partition function for a monoatomic uh, gas okay so we already found this so you can just uh, put a box like this so this is the most important uh, formula here so when because you have found this one now we are going to find out uh, pressure then uh, this pressure and then we are going to find out the mean energy then heat capacity and then even entropy so just for substitute in the um, mean gas pressure formula this also we have derived in our previous lectures generalized force like a generalized force we have derived this so this formula so substitute dou, lo, dou by dou v of dou ln z so this is only the volume term so you will get 1 by beta uh, n by v why uh, ln z is here ln z is here so like that p is equal to n by uh, n by beta into v beta i already know is 1 by kt so n kt by v so from this you get the famous equation pv is equal to n kt now total mean energy also of a gas is given by e bar is equal to minus dou by dou beta ln z dash this is all we have derived in our previous lecture you can check it out so then again uh, this ln z is coming and you dou by dou beta so uh, wherever beta value is there so this term you can use that and then you will get uh, n by beta mm. so then i can write it as n into this uh, epsilon bar where epsilon bar is equal to 3 by 2 kt this is the mean energy per molecule and heat capacity at constant volume of the gas is given by cv is equal to dou e by dou t v so already we have the value of mean energy where is the mean energy yeah this is the value of our mean energy so you substitute there you get 3 by 2 n k here 3 by 2 n k uh, then what do we have 3 by 2 v into n a k where v is the number of moles and n a is the avogadro's number so for a monoatomic gas v becomes uh, 1 so then uh, cv is equal to 3 by 2 r so for monoatomic gas r is equal to n avogadro's number multiplied by the k that is the gas constant and entropy s is equal to k ln z plus beta e. so we already have the value of uh, mean energy we already have the value of the partition function just substitute and you will get this equation so uh, just by knowing the partition function by deriving the partition function you can get the value of pressure mean energy entropy specific heat at constant volume all these things can be derived from the partition function so this is why the partition function is very very 
important so for any system if you just derive the partition function then you can find uh, basically how all the uh, thermodynamic uh, values okay so this much for this lecture thank you